Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in one of the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. For a gentleman out there, I don't know if you're going through a divorce or a divorce is finally over and there's a woman or maybe your ex-wife that has to leave of him. She may have been trying to force something to go in her way, like she was trying to manipulate the court system so that she could receive a home or get to keep a home and there's a no from the court system. You could be a king of pentacles going through some type of divorce in the court system, right? Uh, there is something really shocking you're going to find out about the woman that you've been married to um, or whoever you've been partnered up with. There's something where it's like this lady, she sleeps with other women um, because I had a dream where it's like somebody's wife meets with her lover and she recently switched partners and lovers, uh, female lovers. She gives them money under the table. Um, I'm assuming it's your money because this didn't look like someone that works. Um, but she gave money to a woman under the table and the man at the place was like, oh, is this, uh, who is this? And she was like, oh, this is my new, my new boo or my new, um, yeah, like my new boo or something. And they said, what happened to the old one? And she didn't really say much. So she has recently switched female lovers. Um, but you two could be going through some type of, div some type of divorce, um, when the divorce is over, I saw you asking her um, if that's everything as far as if she had gotten all of her things out of the house. Um, but then, like, this huge woman walks out of a room. And then there's a gentleman that also left a room. Like, a gentleman left one side of the house. And then a huge woman came out of one side of the house. Uh, and she was like, well, this is, I don't know what the name is. She said, this is whoever it was. And she's really good at cooking something. So I don't know if you all had a maid that was working for you or something. But there's something about that maid. You need to talk to that maid. Or whoever this is. It could be a family member. Or this is like, uh, I don't know if this is a lover of hers. Or whatever this is. But you, I, I don't know if you need to talk to them. Or but there's something about your either wife or ex-wife. And she likes to have options, men and women. This is someone, I don't know, this is someone that says that the LGBT community is very important. And it is a very important community. But the reason it's important to her is for different reasons than you think. Because uh, she's part of that community. And it ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just how you go about things. Uh, but there's something where you are going to find some type of paperwork when you least expect it. I don't know if you're looking for this paperwork or... This is something that's going to happen when you are cleaning up after the divorce is finished or it could be done now. But you're going to be cleaning up and you are going to come across a paperwork that's going to shock you. It's either something that has to do with a life insurance policy that was sticking out on you or there's some type of fraudulent document. There's something that this woman did that you're going to find written proof about. Okay, that's going to be brought to your attention. And you're going to be quite shocked when you find it. I saw a petite Caucasian woman with short black hair or something standing in a kitchen within a house. The bottom level of the house is where the kitchen is. And then you go, I think, upstairs. But on that bottom level, there's also rooms around some type of corner or whatever. Then you come down the stairs. If you go around, there's a room there. Um, there was also a gentleman coming out from another space around the other side of the corner. But it's that when you come down immediately the stairs, the kitchen area is right there. And there was a petite woman standing by an island. And you're asking her, is that everything? And she said, yeah. And then immediately a woman walked out of the room or something like that. Uh, and that's just kind of, I think, trying to show the back scene of what she's been up to. Okay. But you're going to find something that's going to shock you. It's going to be the truth of who she really is. Maybe you were in denial for a long time. 
Um, but you're going to find the truth about who this woman really is and what she's been doing behind the scenes of you. I don't know if she took a life insurance policy out on you or on somebody else. Or there's some type of will that was ordered there, some type of deed, some type of a hit that was ordered on someone, uh, some type of fraudulent document. You'll find something. It's something you're going to find. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. There could be a couple out here wishing to have something. I don't know if this is something that belongs to them, something that they are wishing to have that does not belong to them. Maybe they did something for money and... Maybe things didn't go accordingly. They may be wishing to come out of the cold to mend things, fix things with you. Maybe they betray you uh, for money. Maybe they were promised some abundance that did not come to them. Uh, maybe they were told, if you support me, uh, you're going to get this amount of money. But something didn't go according to plan, so they're not getting the money. So now they may be wishing to come out of the cold and mend things with you. Maybe they're trying to get contact with you, get in contact with you. And maybe people are trying to stop them from getting in contact with you. Whatever this is, it'll be balanced out. Destiny is going to play out. Listen to your intuition. There's truth and clarity that's putting something to an end. And you're going to be getting some type of solid offer, whoever you are, able to move on you may end up getting married to a king of pentacles be very cautious because uh i don't know if this king of i don't think this king of pentacles is toxic i just think that he's having to move a specific way this could be your emperor that has had to carry himself in a specific way because of the people he's been around uh something has been illuminated to him and maybe he's privy to something these people have been doing and this is why he's moving in a very interesting way someone may even be going through something you may have went through and now he's understanding why you were acting the way you were why you did something the way you did it but th this couple they are wishing to come out of the cold uh, when it comes to you. Maybe heartbroken, in distress, feeling kind of lost, confused all over the place. How did we not get what it is we were promised? You told us if we do this, we were going to get this. If we worked with you, we were going to get this. And they're having to move on empty-handed. And they may be a little upset about that. You could also have another karmic couple that is out here trying to destroy uh, another person. Um, and I don't know why they're trying to destroy you. This could be like a couple that's greedy and trying to force something to go their way. Okay? Too much going on behind the scenes. These people are confused as to how you are still working, how you're still moving forward. They may be trying to cause a lot of manipulations about your work, who you are, seeing that you're a dark worker, you're lazy, all kinds of stuff. This has been the narrative that these people have painted about you, that you're someone lazy, someone unreliable, not dependable, uh, insufficient for the job, okay? This couple was working with a queen of wands behind the scenes against you. And something has backfired. Whatever they were expecting to receive, they're not receiving it. Um, and so I think it has them upset. They may be frustrated as well, feeling like lost or pessimistic about something, right? They may want to come in and give you a friendship. I don't think this is a genuine friendship. It's some type of facade. They are still collaborating. They may still be trying to figure out how they can get or receive what it is that was promised to them. So they may want to come towards you with an offer. The Queen of Wands may want to come towards you with a, a friendship offer. It's all disingenuous. They're trying to figure out how to steal something from you. Basically, how to get away with something. How to block your voice. They've been working hard to block your voice, okay? So, if I was you, I would be careful. They're trying to steal from a high vibrational person. Look here, right here. Trying to steal from a high vibrational person. Okay, they've been deceiving about you, lying about you, causing a lot of disturbances behind the scenes, bullying you from behind the scenes, because this is all these people have been doing. Even people that will have or should have assisted you, they partook in this bullying. Uh, and maybe something is not going how these people thought it would. They're all trapped into some type of contract, work contract, collaboration, whatever. Feeling like they, they don't have a way out. And I don't really know what to tell them. Yeah. Someone is upset because you're free to go. You're not bonded. You could be a, a Sagittarius energy. They've all been working against you, trying to steal something from you, trying to steal money from you, your comfort, either your home or something like that. You may be balancing something out, uh, trying to work with someone. You're freeing yourself from some type of horrendous situation that is full of nothing but distress and despair. You're seeing people for who they are. Yeah, you're freeing yourself from a marriage. Right here. 
You're freeing yourself from a marriage. It's a toxic marriage. You're leaving it behind and moving on with your life. But the person you're leaving, there is something about her. Um, there could be other people mirroring your energy or your uh, experience. Uh, so maybe someone else was married to this petite Caucasian woman. Or maybe this is you. Maybe you have a particular kind of women that you date. I don't know what it is. It is your business. I really don't give no damn. But you are freeing yourself from some type of marriage that you are not happy in. Maybe you've been just staying in this marriage for a long time. Not wanting to separate the family. You could be someone that's family oriented. Uh, but you're coming out of the cold and mending things. Going through some type of uh, balance. Uh, 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 I'm trying to use find a word to use. But it's like you're fixing something in your end. On your end. Okay? Obviously not in your end, but you're trying to fix something on your end. You're freeing yourself, changing your mindset. You may be wanting to uh, be in a little bit more of a relationship that has reciprocity in it, okay? Uh, but you feel stuck and confined within a marriage with someone. You may be stuck in a court case as well with this person you're trying to get out of. They could be trying to pay a judge or whoever this is, a lawyer behind, behind the scenes. To have something go in their favor. If you're with a queen of wands, she's paying someone behind the scenes. Paying a judge, paying a lawyer to make something go in her favor. It's a very hefty amount that she's giving this man. Okay? Uh, so just thread with caution. Uh, I don't know what this is. Like this woman is very gung-ho. I don't know if she's trying to keep a house. This has something to do with the house. Like she wants you to be pulled out of a house. But you're not being put out of that house. She's going to have to leave that house. It's not hers. It's like you two have been together, but you did most of the work to build the life that you have. And she's just been living a good life. Whatever this is. But you are freeing yourself from a marriage and going to invest in something that is in the upright. Or someone that's in the upright. A queen of pentacles that operates on integrity, morals, and ethics. Okay? Uh, there could be another queen of wands in a situation that's wanting to balance something out. I don't know what this is, but it's not genuine. I don't get a genuine energy from this woman. There's some type of ulterior motive. It's like she wants to come towards another energy to make it seem like they're friends. She's going to assist you with something. You may need assistance with. Don't take any assistance from this woman. Do not accept any friendship from this woman. This is someone very conniving, very malicious. You two are not friends. Okay? You are not friends. Okay? I don't know how else to reiterate that. You are not friends. This is someone that's coming in your energy to manipulate you. They're gaslighting you because they're trying to force something to go their way. It's like they're going to have uh, something I saw in a dream. It's like this woman is going to come towards you and try to invite you on an outing. You meet her there. She's trying to give you some type of money, but there's someone else that's watching and taking picture, making notes of everything that's taking place, and they're going to use that picture to set things up and make it look like you two are friends or something, and you're in onto something. You're not part of, don't go to, don't visit nobody, don't go out with no one, nothing. You're not friends. They, try, they are trying to paint some type of picture. These people are desperate because there's something where it's like the deadline is over for something and she's still trying to keep going with something. You two are not friends. I don't know how else to, to tell you that. It's a setup. It's a setup. Okay? It's a setup. They are planning on how to steal from you. It could be a queen of pentacles that's not doing too well in a community. It could be sick, uh, but still trying to figure out how to steal from someone else. These people are not your friends. I don't see anybody on here that is your friend that is trying to uh, come to you with a genuine energy. They're all collaborating against you. I'm telling you. All of them are collaborating. Okay, the, the person that's helping you is probably doing it from behind the scenes. So anybody that's coming towards you right now to give you some type of offer, if it's a feminine energy, especially, they're not your friend. This is a setup. Trying to make it seem like, oh, I told you she and I were friends. I told you she's in on it or he's in on it. No, you're not. This is a manipulative tactic. This is a tactic this woman is coming up with. If we come to, if we go and meet with her, if we invite her out and give her some money, we have someone taking pictures. It's an investigator the whole time watching, trying to see how something is playing out. Is this woman really part of this, this scheme that's going on? And it's a no. 
whoever this star C is, they're not part of it. It's a setup to make it look like they're a part of something. Don't go out with these people. Walk away from them. Reject them. If they reach out to you, don't do it. Someone may have even tried to come towards you already to give you a friendship and you probably disregarded them. Maybe they reached out to you on social media, through email, something, and you disregarded them. You acted like they weren't there. Maybe you're like me. We have mental funerals for people. We just act like you, you, you don't exist. Once we get tired of the nonsense with you, you don't exist. Someone has been paying to have your privacy invaded, trying to do a lot of astral projections and things like that, but, but being blocked out of your energy, I'm telling you. Being blocked out of blocked out of your energy. Someone feels trapped in a relationship as well. With I don't know if this is a Queen of Cups reverse, whoever it is, but he feels trapped in a relationship. I don't know who told him to get married to this kind of person because I think there was a lot of warnings. When he was told, not, when he was about to marry this person or get with this person, they told him not to do it. Whatever it is, maybe he'll figure it out. But there's some type of clarity out. I don't know if you said something or someone said something. You got the Eight of Pentacles, uh, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Maybe you're about to have everything. Everything, everything. And people are worried. Burden. It burden. Okay? Something is going to go in your favor. You're going to receive some type of offer. Someone's going to share with you or give to you, be generous to you. And this is what people have been trying to block. It just... <laughs> oh, let me leave that out. Let me leave that out. We got to leave a few things out for the viewers to come in. Lord have mercy. Hmm. Yeah, every time you and this man, I'm telling you, every time this man comes out, you and him comes out as a match. And you keep coming out as the king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. Energy. But there's a false queen of pentacles in his energy that wants him to see her as the true queen of pentacles. But he knows. Maybe he knows. This man is highly intuitive, very gifted, in connection with his ancestors. And they're telling him exactly what to do, and he's following instructions. So whoever this woman is that is pretending to uh, be something she's not, baby, uh-uh. There could be a queen of pentacles behind the scenes trying to mend something now because the truth is out. She's finding out that she's trapped in something. Uh, there's some type of questions being asked. I don't know if there's an investigation going on. May want to come towards you with something. Maybe everything. Like she's trying to come towards the Queen of Cups now with the truth and give to you because there's something that's exposed in a community. There's some type of investigation going on in a community. And these people have been trying to hide the truth. It's like being in an investigation for something, but you're still doing that something behind the scenes, but trying to hide the fact that you are still doing that something. It's a special kind of mental illness. Stop doing something. You won't have to live like this. Can you imagine every day having to live, worry that you're going to get caught doing something? Having to look over your shoulders every day. Because that's what someone has been having to do. A group of people. It's like they're celebrating. But the celebration is so brief. It don't even make sense to be celebrating. It don't make no sense to be celebrating. Because they know every day that passes by. They're, they're getting closer and closer to being cut. They're doing something to stop someone's forward movement. They're manipulating. They come together to cause a lot of manipulations. Working together. I don't know what this is. Right. And someone has made judgment in this situation and they're putting a stop to all of this nonsense. Putting a stop to it. And he's made a decision. He's going with a Queen of Cups. Upright. A genuine Queen of Cups. You could have another Queen of Cups around him trying to tempt him, trying to uh, put herself out there in front of him and things like that, trying to get him to lust after her. Like, just desperate for nothing. Nothing at all. And he's already made a decision who he's going to give to. Let it go. It's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. What the heck is this nonsense? All about a Ten of Pentacles. There's something about the court system. 
Like someone pay a judge or a lawyer to do something to a queen of pentacles. Someone paid a judge or a lawyer to do something to a queen of pentacles. It's like pretend this is not here. I need you to help me get this. Help me keep this. Not them. Not theirs the whole time. Could be a property. Uh, it could be to, to make someone seem legally, mentally ill on paper when they aren't. Something illegal took place in the court system or is taking place in the court system. There's an investigation going on. And whoever is doing the investigation is in the upright. They, they, they may be trying to even sneak you. Be cautious. They're trying to sneak you and force something to go their way. Hide a secret. Okay? What the heck is this mess? Why do people got this much time on their hands? Why do people got this much time on their hands? I'll never get this one. Of all the things you all could do in the world, you went with what? Trained with being thieves? Criminals? Because something is federal. Something is like someone is going, going to prison. Someone is losing their job. A group of people will be losing their job, being put out of an institution, a community. A man's going to turn his back on a whole family once he finds out how uh, uh, malicious they are. Because this is someone that's family-oriented. King of Pentacles and the upright, they're very uh, family-oriented. And he's made some type of decision to put a stop to something. Whatever this is, honey, I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 it's crazy. This is crazy. It's kind of stuff is shocking. This is this is stuff you see in the movies. I'm telling you, this is stuff you see in the movies. Okay, you got a couple trying to get away from. I don't know what this is. I don't know if they're they're getting back to who they used to be, trying to get away from a collaboration with a group of people, trying to sneak away. It said, "Why did you participate in this nonsense in the first place?" Because something is turning into a nightmare for these people. They want to get away from this group and go back to loving. Maybe to even extend a hand to you, extend like a, a, a friendship, an olive branch to you, something like that. But they're trying to get away from these people and move on with their lives because whatever was promised to them, they ain't getting. A queen of pentacles is making some type of decision. It's like this woman with everything going on, she's still trying to stop some type of love connection from coming together. It's like you don't have control over what another person can do. You're not their God. You're not their, like, you don't have control over anyone else in life but yourself. So no matter how long it takes for something to happen, that does not mean you are controlling that, that, uh, uh, that story. That's just how long it's supposed to take for those two before they get together. There's some type of lesson that's meant to be learned while these two are separated. It does not mean that you are doing anything. You're not above God. So to think that you are actually doing something to stop two people from coming together, you're delusional. You're delusional. Every one of you is are delusional. And it don't make sense because these are not like young people doing. These are older people that should know better. People in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s that should know better and are choosing to be behave like immature kindergartners off of money, off of ego, because they don't want to see two people together, two people working together, two people having peace and fulfillment together. It don't make no sense. At all. At all. It does not make sense. It don't matter what you do. This man and this woman are still going to get together and he don't feel no ways about it. He don't care how you feel. Someone is making decisions from a higher perspective now. He ain't worried about what you do, how you feel about it. He said, I don't got nothing to do with him. How you feel? Nothing. Not a thing. So you are trying to keep him trapped in some type of karmic situation, whether it's a relationship, an institution. It's a waste of time. When it's time for this man to leave this situation, 
best believe his angel is going to make sure he's out of there on time. And if you get the warning to leave, leave, sir. Nobody cares how much money you have attached to that institution, that marriage or whatever. Marriage can be an institution as well. When it's time to leave something, you need to learn when it's time to leave and leave. When you are told to, like, listen to your higher self, your angels, your ancestors. Whatever they're telling you to do is what you do. Listen to your intuition. It's like, I don't know if people just decided to throw common sense away. We're going to get together. We're going to block these two from coming together. We're going to destroy her work. We're going to destroy him or uh, uh, try to steal his money. We're going to ma manipulate him. It's all a plot. It's all orchestrated against you, against you, sir, and around you. You are being gift kept. It's a whole lot of gatekeeping going on around you, and you don't even know. I doubt that you don't know when you're coming out here with a judgment. Your, your judgment is to stop something. What are you stopping? A love connection? What is it? I don't know. Like everybody's choosing to stop something. They want someone to stay in a community, in a family, and there's no fulfillment in the family. Nothing. I, I don't get it. And if somebody stole something, you best believe you're going to lose it. It's going to be taken from you. It's going to be taken from you. You worked really hard to steal something. Worked really hard to steal something. They've been trying to steal something from a masculine and some money. They're trying to steal money from a king of, I think, pentacles or a king of wands. You may want to secure your finances because there's people behind the scenes of you trying to steal your money. Okay? And they've been working day and night trying to figure out how they can steal your money. Trying to make sure I don't miss anything else because I'm about tired of these people. Y'all know I'm already tired of them. Come out every day with the same hocus pocus nonsense going on at their age. And somebody's moving on. Uh, it, someone is moving on. Let them go. It's so tiring. The rest of us are tired for you. Let the person go. You're trying to keep someone for finances. That ain't why people get in relationships. Maybe that's the, 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 the model in the higher class of society, the high social class of society. Maybe that's the model, but maybe someone don't want to do that anymore. They want to be in a relationship that has equal give and take, reciprocity, or some type of emotion in it. Let him go. Go find somebody else to partner up with and pretend to love them. They'll pretend to love you too. There's a lot of them in the place you are, in, in that level of society. It's a lot of gas lighter around you. Pick them up. Pick one of them up. Leave this person alone. Let him move on. But you to be out here pretending like you're okay with something and then be trying to destroy someone else. This will be one of these morons, this woman I'm picking up on. Let's say you have a platform. She'll get on there talking about I support you. But she's paying people behind the scenes to destroy that platform. Let's say you work with her. She'll be saying she, she supports you, but she's trying to get your boss to fire you behind the scenes. That's that kind of woman. Just very malicious, insecure. Every time she comes around, ain't nothing positive with her. Got the freaking eight of swords. Three of swords. Okay? That someone is very malicious, very insecure, very like jealous of other people, especially whoever you are that she knows this man wants to work with or is interested in. Very jealous of you. Been working a whole long time, a whole lot, paying a whole lot of money, paying people under the table just to make sure they help her execute something against you. Okay, execute something against you. Something ain't going their favor. This queen of pentacles that's been trying to destroy you from behind the scenes. Maybe now I'm trying to co collaborate with a group of people so that they can move on or come towards you with the truth. Give something to you or whatever this is. Maybe I don't know. It's just too much going on. Too much. 
It's like these people, they take from you, they lose something. They take from you, they lose something. They take from you, they lose something. At this point, they are more, they're in more of a mental imprisonment than you are. They are more confused than you are. They are more anxious than you are. They are more afraid than you are. And they don't understand why or how you keep moving forward, how you stay focused. We're doing all of this to distract you. From what? Your destiny, but you're not distracted. They're attacking your path. They don't want your path to be fulfilled, your contract to be fulfilled. Trying to stop someone from moving on to getting a commitment that's actually solid. A relationship with a queen of cups. They don't want that happening. Like someone wants a man to choose her over you. And she don't even have any emotional traits or attributes that this man is looking for. All she cares about is the prestige that comes with this relationship. It don't make no sense. It's pathetic as heck. This is one of the most pathetic things I've ever picked up on. Like, I want him to be with me. I'll be, you know, seen. I can, I get to connect with all these people. I know this person, know that person. I can wear all the shoes. I won't buy all the clothes. I, like, all about the wrong things. But in public, she pretends like she actually gives two Fs. You don't give no Fs. But it's between me and her, and he's going to choose me because I'm better looking and Girl, but then when she, let's say she gets online and sees your picture, she's pissed off that you're actually good looking. But she don't want to see your pictures. Nothing. She wants you to disappear. She said, well, I thought you said you, was, you were more beautiful than this woman. Why are you bothered by her picture? Like someone gets pissed off when they see another person's picture. I don't get it. Is that it, is it looking at you because you're beautiful? It pisses her off. It would be easier if you were ugly. It's what I'm hearing her say. Like, it would be easier if she was ugly. and But she's pretty too. Da, 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 da. But she's she's pissed off. She's still pissed off. Don't want to see your face. Don't want to hear you. you. You know you can just click off. If you're watching someone online, baby, that's your phone. Click off. But this person got a mental illness. She's going to keep clicking on to watch you. To find out the bee's knees. Try to figure out how to block you. But the whole time she's bothered. Some type of fake friend around her that's going to expose her. Maybe they probably already have. But they're both fake friends to each other. <laughs> gonna tell that, that man, yeah, she's real jealous of that lady. She's been stalking that lady. Watching her. Invading her privacy. All kinds of stuff. Pretending to be that lady. Copying her personality. Yeah, she's been doing that. And that King of Pentacles is going to be the, yeah, I figure. Something just wasn't adding up. Something was not adding up. It's one of those situations, a karmic woman, she comes against around a, a, a divine being. And all of a sudden, she's a divine being. She was karmic yesterday, but today she's divine. They ain't putting on any of the work to heal. Nothing. Pour into herself or, on, or anybody else. But all of a sudden, she's divine because she gets to pretend like she's divine. She can go from being a drama starter to, you know, I just want everybody to get along. Yeah, I know I, I care about, I don't give two S about anybody. It's all orchestrated. Like these people, there's something where it's like, if this has to do with an institution, a, a, a job, a position with this eight of pentacles out here, this would have been something where a group of people got together, came up with a scheme to make it look like someone who was actually for the institution for the employees was against the employees they came up with some type of plot to make it seem like you were the problem like oh she's the one she's the reason where she's the only one that does not uh, get along with everybody he's the only one that does not get along with everybody he has a problem with everybody he guys is about everybody but they won't tell that man what it is that they did to you behind the scenes for you to be telling Talking to them like that or to be moving the way you're moving. They'll keep all of that out of the conversation. But they're going to be sure to tell him that you're rude. You're inconsiderate. You're not a team player. You're not a team member. You don't know what you're doing. You cause a lot of drama. You gossip a lot. 
uh, you lie a lot, you steal all kinds of things, you gaslight and play with people's emotions, you're mo emotionally unstable, you're mentally unstable, you're mentally ill, all kinds of things. All kinds of things. The whole time you don't even know any of that is going on and you're showing up to work every day and smiling with these people, laughing with these people, and you don't know they're lying on you, setting you up for failure. Something like that is going on or is going to be revealed. Fake, fake people, just fake. And they don't, they deal out of that because a man is wealthy. I don't know if you were around a man and you didn't know who he was. Maybe he didn't tell you who he really was. This is like you working with someone or going to church or school with someone and the whole time you don't know that they're like some type of business mogul or something like that or someone very successful, someone in the public eye, whatever this is. Um, and then you end up finding out later when he decides to reintroduce himself, okay? He's like, I haven't been truly honest with you about who I am. I would like to meet with you to tell you who I really am. Okay, why I'm interested in working with you. Something like that. But there was someone you were around and you didn't know who he was. And he's interested in working with you. And these people don't want him working with you. There's some type of lie someone told him and he picked up on it. And I don't know if she even knows that he knows she's lying. It's like, so I'm on... Someone trying to act like they are your expert, the expert of Maria. And every day they're going in and telling this king of pentacles or king of wands some type of lie about you. Because they don't know you. They don't know nothing about you. But they're talking about you to the either the king of wands, king of pentacles every day. And then the king of wands or king of pentacles picks up on something. And they're like, hold on, that don't add up. That, that don't add up. No, that don't add up. I know that person. That don't add up. And I'm going to trust my guns on that person, my person, my guts on that person. And that's not adding up. And lo and behold, whatever she told him, he looked into it and it wasn't true. Now when he confronts her about it, I boo 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 can get nothing out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.